Welcome to the 6th Anti-Cybercrime Summit of the Philippine National Police Anti-Cybercrime Group. The theme is ensuring safe cyberspace for the Filipinos. The composition of the participants are from private and government uh, offices, more particularly mga banking sectors natin and financial institutions. Today's activities showcase and do the stakeholders' partnership between government and private sectors in dealing with emerging threats in cyberspace. Let us refuse defeat in the war against this growing global menace and continually recalibrate our core capabilities, cyber security, cyber response, and digital forensics so as to sync well not only with the national anti-cybercrime policies and initiatives, but also with international standards. Ensuring a safe and secure cyberspace is a shared responsibility. It is only by acting together that we can build a more secure cyberspace for Filipinos. In the last five years or so, generally, crime has gone down. So for those who have been to Singapore, you would know that generally we are quite safe, uh, very much on the Philippines. But cyber enabled crime has gone up. For significant accomplishments, 182 major police operations have been uh, conducted and 896 cyber criminals were arrested and 39 minors were rescued. I take this opportunity to encourage everyone to give our cooperation and support to the PNP ACG and other criminal justice stakeholders, including our office, in the fight against cybercrime. We also want to emphasize how important it is to collaborate with your partners, because none of these cases can be made unless you collaborate and join a partnership with uh, the PMP. So when you start adopting cloud, you realize there is no more perimeter. There is no safe zone. You cannot draw a boundary that says everything within this boundary is my data and everything out of this boundary is then external data. There's no such perimeter anymore. Uh, Huawei proposed a new security solution named Software Defined Security Solution. We are trying to build a proactive defense system to prevent potential risk. So social engineering can just search for your name and find tons of information. Easily, you know, they can just Google you or even so, uh, search you in the social media, then they would see what's your interest, where are the places you went, things like that. Easily, they can profile you. So social media, yes, it's a good tool, but can also be used as a good social engineering tool, you know, to profile you to eventually launch an attack. Okay, how can I justify this so much cost and so forth? And I told him, look, why don't you go back to your board? Tell them that you're buying this because now you can turn around and, sit and tell your customers, go to us because we'll, we're able to protect you from cyber attacks. If you as a human look at 500 alerts a day, out of which 70% are false, what would happen? You would stop trusting technology systems. And this is why we are here to ensure that analytics can play a slightly different game. Uh, natutuwa kami as a sponsor and a vendor. Uh, we really learned a lot. At the same time, makakatulong to sa buong cybersecurity community. I want to congratulate uh, General Marcos for having this event every year. This event will be successful for the, for the next few years and be more productive later on. This may bring us at the end of this summit, but our knowledge does not end here. As we listen to each other, we became aware 
that we share a common mission and goal. That is to ensure a safe cyberspace where people are free to reach out to another at the other side of the globe. Happy 6th uh, anniversary ACG! Happy 6th anniversary ACG! Happy anniversary to all of us! My congratulations to everyone and uh, mabuhay tayong lahat! Happy 6th anniversary to the PNP Anti-Cybercrime Group! Carry on at mabuhay kayong lahat! Happy 6th anniversary ACG!